friends, we've got a new game today that we're gonna play. It's called Speak Out Bible Game. And in this game, we have two teams. First team is Miss Milana and Miss Leanne. And they have to guess what the other one is saying. And the team that guesses the most correctly wins. Let's go. There is no fear in love. But perfect, perfect love, love casts out, out fear. fear. First John. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, feet and, and a light on my path. path. Yes. Song. A hundred and something. hundred and nineteen feet or something. Okay. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Yes. That's <laughs> Ephesians 6. Put on the full armor of God. Oh, wow. Okay. Cast all your anxiety on him because, because he cares for you. First Peter 4, 8, I think. Yeah, or five seven. Okay, okay five seven. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. Yes, that's now, Hebrews. You just have to say the verses, not where it's. Oh, oh okay. I really <laughs> now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. Yeah, no, I did catch that. Okay, this different translation. Okay, be still and, and know that, that I am God. God. Oh, see, yes, good. You're okay. really clear. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Or shall. Whew, you're going to go through the wrong. Okay. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Yes. Okay. Drop the reference. Oh. Okay. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, friends. So. Miss Milana and Miss Leanne did an awesome job. They got nine correct. Now we're going to have Miss Regan and Miss Gianna play. Let's see how many they get correct. Okay, let's go. Hey kids, this is a reminder to complete your challenge card every month. How do you do that, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Each week you will complete three activities. Watch it, watch the live stream on Sundays or on demand anytime during the week. Do it by doing the craft with your Zoom group leader or your parents. Talk about it, talk about the lesson with your Zoom group or your parents. When you've done those three things each week, check off each star and don't forget to turn it over and do the monthly challenges. When your challenge card is full of check marks, send it in to us by using the instructions on the bottom of your card. Every month, we will draw one of your challenge cards and you could win a pizza party for your family, hand delivered by one of us in Children's Ministries. And kids, we want to see your faith in action. Show us how you are doing with the monthly challenges, if you're collecting money for the offering, the crafts that you've been making. So please send us your pictures or videos and you could be highlighted in this video. To do this, use the Dropbox link on the back of your challenge card or in the description box below. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Got you. Do to others as you would rather than do to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got this. You got this. I, as iron sharpens iron, as iron sharpens so one iron, person so sharpens, one person sharpens another. another. Draw near to God and he will draw near, near to you. Easy. So the Lord will fight for you and the you Lord have only to be silent. I have only to be silent. I can do all things. I can do all things. To him who gives me strength. Me strength. I got this, I got this, I got this. Be still. Be still. <laughs> and know that I, I, I am God. Oh yes, you're going to eat them. All right. <laughs> My presence My will go with you and I will give you rest. And I will give you rest. <laughs> Last one. Okay. Oh, it's not straight up. Go! Be gentle and patient and affliction. Be gentle and patient and affliction. Be gentle and her. In prayer. Woo! How many is that? I think we reached them. Because our time is not up. <laughs> Do I get another one? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Woo! So our winners today are Miss Regan and Miss Gianna, and they Ooh. even did it faster than they needed to. How awesome! 11 wins to nine. Awesome. <laughs> See you next time. 
Hi everyone, it's great to see you all. My name is Regan. Hey friends, and my name is Boris. Today, we are back on the case. What case, you ask? The case of who is Jesus? So far, we've learned that Jesus is the source of living water and the teacher. I wonder what else Jesus can be. Well, I have an idea. I found this clue earlier. Ta-da! Oh, a first aid kit? That's a handy thing to have with you. A first aid kit? Huh. I thought this was a lunchbox. Ooh, I guess that explains why there's no sandwiches in it. Sorry, no sandwiches, but a first aid kit can be helpful. It can be used to help people when they're hurt. And they can have bandages and medicine in them for emergencies. Okay, hey, medicine is not as tasty as sandwiches. Unless you get the medicine that tastes like bananas. I love bananas! Stop talking about food, it's time to focus. I wonder how first aid kit can be the clue for today. Maybe it means Jesus went to doctor school. Or maybe he drove an ambulance. That would be so awesome! <laughs> Boris, they didn't have ambulances back in the days when Jesus was here. Are you sure? Because I think they could have. Let's check out our story to see who's right. I think it's me. Let's watch. <laughs> One day, after teaching about love and kindness, he came to a man who had a terrible disease called leprosy. Because of his disease, the man was considered unclean. No one wanted to be around him. Plus, there were rules that he couldn't be touched. Worse, the man was dying. Please, Lord, please make me clean, he groaned. Jesus looked at the man with kindness and compassion. Yes, I will, he said. Be clean. Jesus touched the man, something which no one else would ever do. Immediately, the man's leprosy was gone. He was healed. Just a short while later, an important military officer rushed up to Jesus. He was breathless, sad, and excited all at the same time. Lord, he shouted, my servant is laying at home. He can't move. He's suffering. The centurion knew that there was only one hope for his servant. Jesus looked at the man with compassion and said, I'll come right away and heal him. Oh, but Jesus, I'm not even worthy to have you come to my house. All you have to do is say the word, and I know he will be healed. I too have authority. If I tell someone to do something or go somewhere, he does it. Jesus was amazed at the man's faith. Not many people believed him like this man did. This man wasn't an Israelite, but he believed God. Jesus told him to go home, that his servant was healed just as he asked for. At that very moment, the centurion's servant was healed. Right after this happened, Jesus went to Peter's house. Peter was one of Jesus' closest disciples. His mother-in-law was very sick. She had a terrible fever. She was dying. All Jesus did was reach out and touch her hand. Right away, her fever was gone. She was as strong and healthy as she had ever been. In an instant, she jumped up and started getting a meal ready for Jesus. Many times, demons possessed people and caused them to hurt themselves. One such account took place when Jesus set foot on the lakeshore of the region of Gerasenes. There was a demon-possessed man that dwelt amongst the tombs. He was so violent and brutal that no chain could bind him. When Jesus climbed out of the boat, the man came running to him, and one of the evil spirits in him said, Why are you bothering us, Jesus, Son of God? Don't torment us. Jesus then proceeded to ask the demon what its name was, and it said its name was Legion. There were many demons in this man. The demons pleaded for Jesus to let them go into a nearby herd of pigs, and Jesus drove them out. Immediately, the man was healed. The pigs went into a rage and ran off a nearby cliff and drowned in the lake. The pig herders saw this and were amazed. 
After telling the townspeople about it, they all came out to see. Even though they saw the healed man, they still asked Jesus to leave. Jesus had complete authority over everything. Death, sickness, and even sin. Nothing could stand against him. Well, I didn't see any ambulances, so I guess you were right. But I did get the clue. A first aid kit can help heal people, just like Jesus did. Yes, but unlike us, Jesus doesn't need a first aid kit to heal others. Jesus is God's son, and that gives him authority over all things, including sickness and death. He just had to say, be healed or touch someone to heal them. Jesus is the healer. I think it was so cool how Jesus healed people. Can you imagine how that poor man with leprosy must have felt? No one could help him because no one was allowed to even touch him. If it hadn't been for Jesus, he would have been left sick and alone. That's right. And Jesus wanted the people to know how much God loved them. And one of the ways he could do that was by healing them. The power Jesus showed, getting rid of sickness and telling demons to leave people, helped the people of Israel realize that he was God's son. God loves each one of us, and our Bible verse tells us the most important way He showed His love for us, by sending Jesus into the world. Let's all stand and say it. This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. 1 John 4 and 9. Great job. Let's say it once more. But she's a lot better at actions than I am. I'm not very good. You, you do actions better. Okay. This, this is how God showed his, his love among, among us. us. He, he sent his, his one and, and only son into the world, world that we might live, live through, through him. him. First, First John 4, 9. 9. I love that verse. Not only can Jesus heal us physically, but he can also he heal us spiritually. And Jesus knew that sin is the great spiritual sickness that has infected us all. We all need healing for our sin. And Jesus died for our sin. And he promises to heal anyone who admits they've sinned, believes in him, and chooses to follow him for the rest of their lives. And only Jesus can do that because Jesus is the healer. And that's our bottom line for today. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the healer. Let's say it again. I'll ask the question and then you can shout out the answer. Who is Jesus? Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the healer. healer. And since we figured out the first aid kit, clue, this case is closed. It's time for another. I wonder what the mystery will be about next time. I can't wait to find out. Me too. We'll see you soon, friends. Bye. Asvidanya. See ya. <laughs> I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in prayer
My name is Mr. Matt. And my name is Miss Gianna. Are you ready for our awesome announcements? I am. Let's go. So, I brought something today that goes with our announcement. It rhymes with loves. Loves? Hmm. Uh, is it a Valentine heart? I said rhymes with loves, not is loves. Uh, oh, um, doves? <gasps> Did you bring doves? Oh, that would be so much fun. I love doves. They're so, oh, they're so, they have little feathers and they, they got that nice coo. Na, 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 na. Well, no, <laughs> I did not bring live birds. <laughs> oh. No, sorry. So you, so you didn't bring doves? No, but I, so what I brought is white though. Look, see? Oh. oh, okay, so it's not a dove. So they're clearly gloves. That's right. <laughs> Gloves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those and those look super those look super soft though. They are, and actually, I brought my scarf. Okay, are you cold? My hat. Are you feeling okay? <gasps> oh, are you okay? Are you of course feeling I'm right? okay. You look, look how like comfy I am. It's true. You you actually look like you're either really sick or you're looking to go outside and make a snowman. Well, I'm perfectly fine. It's more like the snowman, because I brought these today since we're talking about a really cool mission opportunity we have in Calgary. Oh, which one is it? Well, you know how we earn our loaves and fishes dollars? 
Yeah, I absolutely do. That's right. One of our projects, we can actually spend our loaves and fishes dollars to buy toques and mittens and scarves for people in the city who maybe don't have any of their own. Oh, that is so awesome. You know, Calgary can get really cold and we got a little bit of that this year. And it's so good to have hats and scarves and mittens to help protect our faces and hands from that winter chill. <laughs> it's a really cool way for us to help people who don't have their own, right? Right? Oh, cool way. It is cool, but that was horrible. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? All of us have an opportunity to get Lowe's and Fishes dollars and you can earn them in three different ways. Number one, bringing a new friend to church or inviting you to join you online. Number two, memorizing the Bible verse for the month and tell your leader or grown-up in your house that you did that. And number three, remember uh, reading the Bible at least three times this week. Yep. Make sure you share that with your grown-up in your house or your leader. There is an online form for the grown-up in your house to fill out every week or and they will track it for how many loaves and fishes dollars that are in your account. Remember, it is always better to give than to receive. And we're so great for you to be here with us, friends. We're excited to see you next time for more awesome announcements. That's right. Thanks for being here. Bye.